All right. Let go of the club. Let your arms just relax. Just let them relax in front of you. Okay, you see how that left arm hangs natural? See where the back of your left hand's pointed? Uh -huh. Okay, in a golf swing, when your body unwinds and this arm elongates, it goes right back to where it hangs natural. Okay. Okay, now this arm is not going to be like that because it does a different role. So we're just talking about your left arm for right now. Okay. So that's where your left arm hangs. That's where it's going to go back to. So your grip, a neutral grip for you, is going to be right over there. So when you look down, you're going to be able to see three, maybe even just barely start to see your fourth, but you're for sure going to see this knuckle. So you moved your hand this way. Okay. That is a neutral left hand grip for you. It's not strong. Okay, so there's your left hand. Okay. Now, your right hand plays a different role. This forearm and this hand comes, this fits right on the back of that thumb. Your fingers interlock like that. This palm now becomes a mirror image of that club face. Okay. This forearm, is the, its, its role is to pressure and push the shaft, stabilize the shaft into the ball. Okay. This controls the face, this stabilizes the shaft. Okay. So assuming your left hand's, ooh, that was perfect. Assuming your left hand's on there correctly, which you can see that knuckle, this line and this line are going to line up, and your right palm now is facing the target. Okay. Now, this thumb does not go on top of the shaft. Okay. It goes right here on the side. There you go. It makes a little bridge. There. That's perfect. You're only practicing three things in golf. One, your control of the face. Mm -hmm. So that would be basically how much spin you're putting on the ball. Two is the path that your club is swinging on, which would be the path your arm swings on. And the last one is angle of approach. Now when you put the ball on a tee, all you've done is you've diminished the degree of difficulty of angle of approach. Okay. You still have to control path, you still have to control face. Almost every tour player when they're practicing, they don't put it on a tee, but what they'll do, you watch them warming up before they go out and play, and you'll see a lot of them, they'll go like this. Yeah, and they put it up. Well, what would they just do? Yeah, they create a tee. Put it on a tee. Yeah. So if I put it up there, I could hit a driver off that line. Okay, that's because that's how good I am with angle of approach. When we put it on a tee, we're still, you still have to be good with face, you still have to be good with path, your angle of approach just doesn't have to be quite as good. Okay. So when you first start out changing, you want to start off a tee, you don't want to start off the ground because you're going to make a lot of really good swings with good path and face where your angle of approach is a half inch off and you top it or you fat it. Okay. And you're going to think you're terrible, and you're just you're just that much from being really good. Okay. Now, all I want you to do, just go ahead and hit one. You don't have to hit it hard. Just put the club on the ball from there with that grip. No, it's so weird. No, it's different. Weird's a bad word. When you're a teacher, don't let anybody tell you something feels weird. Here's why. If they say it feels weird, their brain is trying to figure out how to get away from it. When you're trying to make a change with somebody, you want them to say it feels different. Uh -huh. Any words that are, that are positive, relative, I'm trying to make a change, I understand the change. When they say that feels weird, it feels uncomfortable, I'm, I'm, this doesn't feel right, any of those types of things, as soon as you walk away from them, their brain is going to try to figure out how to get back to what's comfortable. I really don't care about comfort, I care that you're correct. Okay. Now, did you see with that grip, the first shot you hit, how did the ball tend to go? It was lower. Lower, and it tended to curve to the left. Yeah, I just thought it was lower. So, same thing, same grip. Just put the club face on the ball. <laughs> the flight and the curve is perfect. Yeah. 